All right, we're 15 more seconds. We're starting with or without an audience. Here we go. Are we hyped, everybody? I'm hyped. <clears throat> Making a sandwich on stream. Let's go. Five, four, three, two. Alright. Here we go. Making the sandwich on stream, everybody. Let's do this. Sponsored by A and A no, I'm kidding, it's not. A and A is dead. Can't 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 be sponsored me. <laughs> Alright. So I'm gonna this is very, very real. This is very, very real. This is exactly how I would be doing this. Um if I were making it for work or for for even nowadays and uh, this is my my work I guess. So got some bread, right? I actually have two more slices of bread in here. I I, I usually make two sandwiches. Why? Because I'm a I'm a growing boy, you know? Growing boy needs his food. So we got two sandwiches, I got a little plastic thing in here just to, to keep it keep my, my my actual lunch bag slightly cleaner, you know, so it's not uh, get jelly or something in, in it, and it's hard to clean. Uh, it's easier to clean the plastic tin than it is to, to clean the actual bag itself. I got myself my butter knife, that's what I use to spread peanut butter and jelly. So, some people might be asking, why? Why peanut butter and jellies? You know, why, why not something tastes better? Or, you know, they seem to eat it for like a year straight and they're like, don't you get sick of that? Of course I would want to eat something different. Of course I get sick of them. Of, you know, all these things. But, uh, it might be able to do lack of knowledge, education of, uh, on foods. But, you know, it's easy to make. In, in, in my head, anyway, I'm getting protein, which when you're, you're running 20 miles a day, you know, having some protein might be a... Uh, good you know get those muscles you might be getting those muscles he lifting heavy stuff all day back when I was a slave um, bread at least when you're you're a slave again it's just carbs which I as, as I've been taught eating carbs isn't it, it's fine as long as you work it off right away during lunch I still have five to six more hours of slavery so that worked out and then jelly is just flavor I guess that's there's no excuse for that that's in my head why you know why not you know PB and J easy it's easy you don't have to to you don't have to you prepare it takes five minutes and then boom you're good to go for for a whole day that's that's your food for the whole day uh, I, maybe you, you should you should eat more but it's all I had so and it's cheap you know it's dirt cheap you know it's peanut butter six dollars for like two jars of this or eight dollars for two jars of this which is is big, as big as my head. Um, and then the jelly is like, I don't know, what, three dollars for that. Lasts a good amount of time. And it lasts for, these two ingredients basically last, they don't last forever, but they last a very long time. The bread, you have to resupply. But these two ingredients, you know, you can run out of bread, sit on these for a while, get more bread, and then boom, you're, you're, you already got, you can, you can already utilize this bread. You don't need something like cheese, it goes bad pretty quick once you open it. Anyway, so I, I just take some peanut butter and I throw it on. Simple as that. Put the peanut butter. Yeah, sorry if you heard that music. That was my roommate coming downstairs with music playing. Um, yeah, so I just put some peanut butter on. I don't know how thick you're supposed to make the coats. I've always been conservative just because, you know, we pour out here, poor man's gaming. So, I don't know if you call it thin coat. But I just throw on the peanut butter. You can barely even see it. And then I usually do the peanut butter first for both. Yo, Pretani, thanks for the follow. That's right. Sandwich time. What's up? How's your day going? And then I just do the same thing for this one. Put the peanut butter on. Simple as that. I really, uh, me personally, I really don't care how I, if it's spread through the whole bread. Uh, you can, 
a little empty spot right there. I'm not gonna let detail ruin a good story in this specific case. And then boom, I just throw the jelly on right after. <laughs> Today's been all right? All right, well I hope. Watch me make a sandwich makes it just a little bit better, you know? And jelly, I just throw it on, I use grape jelly. And also, actually I guess it's worth noting, I use crunchy peanut butter. Uh, I don't know, I've, I've always had smooth peanut butter until I started living on my own, then boom. I found out crunchy peanut butter existed and I started to use it. And I don't know, I kind of like the extra texture that the crunchy peanut butter gives. I also use grape jelly. Strawberry jelly, I remember as a kid hating with a passion. I haven't had it in so long, I couldn't tell you if I still do. But I just remember hating grape jelly with a passion, or sorry, strawberry jelly with a passion, so I've just gotten grape because I know I like it. So I don't know how much jelly you use. I've never actually made, this is probably young me, and I just keep keep doing it. But I never liked excess amounts of jelly on my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So I usually just put some in the middle and kind of spread it a little bit. But I don't like, I don't like too much. I don't like too much because with too much, you, um, I don't know, it, it tastes too sweet, I think. I think I never liked things that are too sweet. Also, what's up, Serious Survivor? I saw you in the chat. It, I have nowhere to put this knife. Usually I just throw it straight in the sink. It's fine, I'll figure it out. Anyway. Okay, so. Make sure this is closed. So I'm basically done. That's it. I've made my in and out. I just throw them together. And that's it. That's the poor man gaming sandwich. I'm just going to leave that there. Hopefully it doesn't drip. It shouldn't drip. It's not going to drip. And this is this is the actually I like to use. I think it's called artisan bread. This is just generic like wheat bread. Um, but I, back in my slavery days I used to get artisan bread and this this peanut butter at Costco and it was like you know high quality you get a lot of it and then boom see very not thick it literally just looks like two slices of bread put together did you go to the store today no I, my, my uh, dad brought me some bread now I got jelly on me There's two, yeah, there's two. <laughs> you didn't know there was two, yeah, there's two. So now, boom. We dual wielding peanut butter and jellies. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. That's how I make a sandwich. It's that simple. All right. So, that's basically it. That's really, it. That's really all there is to it. Um, that's basically it. I don't know what I want to do for the rest of the stream. You don't have to cut the sandwich in a triangle if they taste better. Well, this is actually true to the ghost slavery sandwich, which I didn't cut in triangle. That's that took that would take too much energy. <laughs> I like how you think. I mean, I could. I don't think. I don't know why it would taste better. I think that sounds that sounds like more of a the thing you think when you're a kid. I used to think that SpongeBob mac and cheese tasted better than normal mac and cheese. And that that's quite ridiculous.